Welcome back to the Thinking Chair. We're talking today about the five temptations of church communicators. So welcome back to Thinking Chair Chat. Uh, today we're continuing our conversation about the five temptations of church communicators. Um, and, and in the first uh, episode or in the previous episode, we talked about how there's that tempt temptation to save the world all at once, right? And, and this temptation is closely related, right? You got the temptation to save the world all at once and try to do everything and do the most in the sermon, in the article, in the book. Um, but the reality is you can't do everything all at once. And the second temptation is it's kissing cousin, right? That temptation is you want to be deep. And, and, and this is especially um, difficult for, for people who've been to school. They got all kinds of training. They got degrees on top of degrees. They got certifications. Their, their certifications got degrees. And so the, the challenge is, or the temptation is, that you want to show all that knowledge and you you want to you know, with your with your vocabulary with your with your ideas you want to demonstrate uh, how much knowledge you have and the, the problem is that when you are being super heady and super smart the fact is most people are are missing it they they're not following you and 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 part of it is that the challenge is just to be clear. And I got a real good friend who's great at that. He's he's amazing at taking really challenging and really complex ideas and concepts and breaking them down to the most simplest terms. And that's your responsibility. As a communicator, your job is to make difficult things simple or complex things clear rather than making um, complex things more difficult and more complex. Your responsibility as a communicator is to make complex things more clear rather than uh, making difficult things more difficult or complex things more complicated. And so your challenge is to, to break things down to its most simplest terms, to its more most clear and basic uh, concepts so that even a third grader or even a fourth grader, an elementary school student could understand it. You don't get more points for sounding smart. We don't get more points for sounding deep. Uh, the, to, the challenge is to make the message the most clear for the most people. So that's your challenge. Uh, don't fall temptation to sounding smart, to being deep. Um, just the same way that we said, keep it short and simple. Keep it short and simple. Boil it down to its simplest terms so everybody can understand it. Once again, uh, I want you to share with me any questions you have, any any ideas, any thoughts, any obstacles, any challenges, and let's chop it up together. Let's sit down on the couch, sit down on the chair, and 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 chop it up and come up with solutions so that we can make quality church content.